I'm back in the Lake District. I'm back to where my first video was. This home fell in Coniston. And there's a reason that I've come back here almost a year on. And if you've been following my page, and my channel, you'll know that I've been very, very quiet recently. Today, I'm going to explain why and show a little bit more of this fantastic route. Really is my favorite place. So yeah, hopefully I can give an explanation as to where I've been, what's happened, and how I lost everything and gained it all back again. Looks like my friends are back, or should I say I'm back, they're still here. Check them out. Do you remember these from the verse video? Let's get in some shade. Beautiful day today, lovely out. Right, so I thought I'd stop for, for five minutes. I actually stopped at this point before in the first video and believe it or not that's the first time I've publicly announced about my anxiety so coming back to this spot means quite a bit to me especially as so much has changed since that time so at that point I was suffering with a lot of anxiety and what followed on from that was a lot of change that video that announcement of my anxiety was only the start of things a lot more had happened since then i've had um, a new diagnosis uh, it seems only fitting to announce it here as well in the first place where i announced my first lot of mental health problems but now i've got the diagnosis of asperger's syndrome now I know a few of you had actually mentioned that already in the comments of that first video and he was absolutely spot on. So yeah, I only got diagnosed a couple of weeks ago, but it feels like I can finally be me and it finally understand who I am. Let's get up to the top and explain everything. Did a little sit down. Quick bit of water. I'm going to sit here and just enjoy the silence for a bit. I was looking for a new place to actually camp, but I think I'm just going to go back to where I was before. It's a perfect spot. So, yeah. Now it sounds weird, or it just seems weird, should I say, just sitting here in silence. But it's exactly what I need. So as I mentioned before, in the last 12 months, a lot has happened. I've lost a lot. Without going into too much detail, I lost a lot of the things that mean the most to me. Put it this way, it's my job. 
my family, my home. But also, I've gained a lot as well. New job, new house, new girlfriend. So yeah, a lot has changed. But I think it was needed. As I mentioned, that first video that I did, I was suffering quite badly. And I said that was the start of things. I think at that point, everything had started to unravel, crumble, find it hard to come to terms with things, struggling to keep control, struggling to hold on to the things that mattered to me. And I came out here to to get away from it all and it did help and it allowed me to kind of see clearly where my future was going i'd actually wrote in a book that things were going to change where i see things going and how i see where i'm going to be in the next couple of years and I think to achieve those goals and where I was going I needed almost like a reset uh, a step back I needed to lose everything to gain everything basically at the time it's hard to deal with it's hard to come to terms with those things at the time it's almost a sense of embarrassment that you are going to lose everything but i like this analogy of uh, with a catapult you have to be pulled back to be shot forward and i think that's so so true i needed to lose things to really understand what mattered to me it put a lot into perspective and it allowed me to set a new path. One that would allow me to be more happy, which would allow me to become the person that I want to be. The good thing is that although a relationship ends, it didn't end in a bad way and still on good terms and I still get to see my children all the time which is fantastic but I think we're both in happier places now like I said before I've lost a lot but I've gained a hell of a lot too and I'm proud of that one thing that I do want to say is that Thank you very much to the people that have been following me, that have commented on the videos. I know a lot of you have reached out to me and said that you're experiencing the same problems with your own mental health and that coming outdoors has allowed you to, to escape, set a new calm in your mind, to fully understand where your anxiety comes from. And I also want to say sorry because I haven't posted regularly. I haven't done a video in a long time, but I hope you understand the reasons why. But I feel like I'm back on top form. I feel like, you know, as I said before, I've, I've gained a lot back and I'm ready to give back again. So that's why I've done this video uh, as an opportunity to revisit the place where it kind of all unraveled to explain myself to explain that yeah we may lose things in life but you know what we're going to gain things as well and not to be scared of, of losing things don't be scared of what life has to offer embrace it use it to your advantage move forward with it Life changes. Sometimes when you're stuck in a bit of a rut, when you are 
in um, you are in a part of your life where things don't feel right things don't seem like they have a, a possible end or you can't see a way out of your problems believe me there is a way sometimes you just need to step back analyze the situation and then move forward that's why i like coming out to places like this even if you get out for an hour it helps clear your mind you don't need to come to the lake district in the middle of nowhere to do that it could literally just be a quick walk around the park you'll be surprised at what it can do for you but coming out here it's like that feeling of clarity magnified by 10 everything becomes clear I think it's the quiet the connection between you and earth gives you a, a new sense of meaning getting a bit deep now but anyway I'm going to enjoy sitting here for a bit longer again thank you for those that have followed along and commented it means a lot to me please do hit that subscribe button and the notification button as well if you wish to continue I promise there'll be some more I've actually got another channel as well I'll put in the description that's a little bit more about what I call leveling up your life doing some 30 day challenges. It's not so much outdoors, but it's about discovering new places, um, exploring new places, discovering new things and learning new skills. So yeah, please do follow along to that one as well. But that's gonna kind of be a bit more of me at home. Um, so I can probably do those a little bit more often. Come back in a minute when I found my little spot to pitch up again. But for now, I'm just going to chill. It's mad. Every time I come here, it's a new experience. I just love this place. Down there, I stayed down there as well. Perfect little spot that, loads of little spots to camp. It's really nice there. But I'm not staying there tonight. Because where I'm going, I want to be able to see Coniston Water when I wake up. Look at that view. You've only got to be here for literally five minutes to start to feel calmer, more at ease. Stunning. Right, before I pitch up for the night and settle down, let's go exploring. We're gonna go down there and uh, we'll have a little look around. I'll show you around there. Um, also, I know that there's some running water and I've got my water filter and I need, I need to fill up. So I'm gonna go down there and do that as well. Yeah, let's go do it. Right, just while I'm walking down here, I want to give a special little shout out and a thank you to another YouTuber. And I'm sure if you're watching my videos, the chances are you've seen his, and that's Hayes. Now, Hayes is an incredible guy, an incredible character. I don't know him personally, but he just comes across so well in his videos. Um, so if you ever get a chance to see this Hayes, Thank you very much. It's because of you, you've inspired me to pick up a camera and start filming and create YouTube videos. I think you're very, very good, very, very funny. I think your videos are ace. And if it wasn't for you, I would never have tried Northern Monk, which is fantastic, by the way. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, I do appreciate the inspiration. Um, and if you haven't seen Hayes' videos before, you're seriously missing out you need to go and check him out i'll put his um channel in the description as well so you can go and check him out he's so so funny um 
and it's got some really 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 good content so yeah nice one thanks Hayes getting closer here it is so yeah this is or was my first experience at home fell with a good friend of mine Neil we camped here it's a great little spot let's go and find this uh, running water fill up So yeah, this, right here, this spot, this was my first experience of home fell. And it was, it was really nice sitting here with my mate Neil, just chilling out, having a couple of beers. It's one thing doing this on your own, but it's quite nice having company as well and getting to share the experience. Lovely little spot though. It's beautiful in the morning. Right, let's get some water. Right, I'm literally going to just grab some water and go. I'm just getting bitten so much here. Horrible. Don't come here if it's too sunny. <laughs> come here when it's a bit quieter or died down. It's just oh, getting bitten all over the place. Anyway, this is what I want to show you. Uh, this is what I'm going to get my water with. It's the Soya Mini. Fantastic. I've had this for a while now. These are so, so good. Um, literally, will just clear out all the crap out of the water. Comes with these bags as well. Um, highly recommend that you invest in one of these. They're not a lot of money. I can't remember how much I paid for it. 15, 20 quid, something like that. Um, yeah, so, so useful. Really, really small, easy to transport and carry around with you. And yeah, gets rid of all those nasties from water like this. So much so that I actually took this with me um when i done the lakes in the day ultra run so if you know what that is um if not it's a 50 mile ultra run through the lake district you're going from the top to the bottom um and i took a like a water filter bag with me but i knew that i wasn't going to have enough with water to carry so it's like a literally like a liter's worth of water so i took that as well knowing that there'd be streams and rivers and whatnot along the way that i can fill my water bottles up with and the good thing is as well these little bits on there they connect quite easily um to other water bottles they've got a screw bit in there as well so you can actually screw them onto bottles and just drink straight from it which is fantastic um and just so you know i didn't complete the ultra marathon i got as far as ambleside i think i covered about 30 miles in total something like that um but it was last year when storm callum hit and i I'm not even joking, the weather was horrendous. It was so, so bad. It was literally, the wind was picking people up and just throwing them. It was crazy. Um, I might do it again, though. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, highly recommend getting one of these. Perfect. So yeah, I'm going to get some water and uh, go back up there, make a cup of coffee and um, actually go to the spot that I'm going to pitch up for the night. It seems to have died down now. Bizarrely, before... Um, there wasn't that many people here but I've come back again and there's quite a lot of people so it's obviously getting more popular this area um, I don't blame I don't blame people at all it's lovely here it's fantastic uh, but yeah not seen anyone for a while now so I'm gonna go pitch up in a bit This is a spot. This is where I'm gonna pitch up for the night and chill out. Forget the world for one night. I haven't even really come out here <clears throat> to clear my mind so much. Not like I did that first time. Quite lucky in the sense that I've met someone, like I said, is my new girlfriend that 
really spurs me on and motivates me and brings the best out in me. I'm really thankful for that. I've come out more as a way of reflecting on what has happened. As I said, a lot's changed. I think it's important to reflect on that. Remember where you've come from and where you're going. So that's the purpose of this trip, is to reflect, realize what I've got, be thankful for that. I think it's, um, I think it's important to re remember these things. Just so peaceful, so peaceful. It's just occurred to me that I've lost my sunglasses. I can't find them anywhere. I'm sure I had them with me just a minute ago. Oh well, if you're out here and you come across some sunglasses, enjoy. I quite like them as well. Oh, this is so good, just being back out here again. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Gonna finish this and get the tent pitched up. Hopefully, I'll see some stars tonight. Didn't see them last time. Fingers crossed. Well, there she is, home for the night. The Van Gogh Banshee 300. Yeah. I'm part of the Banshee Club. Fantastic little tent, you can't deny it. Does wonders, goes up quick. Really sturdy, waterproof. I can't, you just can't afford it. And it's the price point's ridiculous, it's so cheap. Look at that. Oh, settle down. Oh, now that's up, I feel great now. I feel like I can just chill out now. I'm gonna sit down and read a book, I think and just enjoy the view, enjoy some peace and quiet, enjoy some me time. I feel great. I do feel good. I feel really, really good. As a lot of you know, if you if you come out and do these sort of things, you just can't beat the experience. The way it makes you feel after. It's just phenomenal. It really is. So yeah. I'm gonna get some um, some shade as well because it's so warm. You can chill out, have another cup of coffee, I think. Treat yourself. Why not? So much room in these tents, you know. Well, I say there's so much room. It says it's a three man, but this is defo a two man, but a big two man. But it's like MTV cribs, where the magic happens. <laughs> oh. Finally chill out. Oh, and also what I've got is this, it's the Van Gogh Trek 3, I believe it is. It's a great little um, air mattress, that. And then this I picked up, and it's probably not suitable weather for it, but this is the um, Fathom EV, EV 400. But this is a good sleeping bag. It's really light, packed up really, really well. Yeah, quite quite pleased with that. That's a recent purchase that I've only used it a couple of times. Right, chill time. No more video in for a bit. Sorry. my dinner so I'm fed and watered feeling pretty darn good been here for a few hours now 
So I'm not actually going to do any more recording. I'm literally just going to enjoy the rest of the evening, wait for the sun to come down, hopefully get to see some stars before I finally drift off. And then up in the morning, looking forward to breakfast. You wait till you see what I've got for breakfast. Oh, one of my favourites. So yeah, good night everyone. Good morning campers. Oh, I'm knackered. It's five to seven. It's a bit of a lion, I suppose. I'm gutted though. I wanted to get up and watch the sunrise, but just too tired. By the time I fell asleep, watch the sunset. But today's a big day because today is my birthday. And I can't think of anything better than to wake up on your birthday to a view like that. Pretty special, eh? So I'm going to get up, I'm going to make a cup of coffee, I'm going to have my special breakfast I was telling you about. I'm going to chill out for a little bit longer. I'm going to head home and just chill out for my birthday, I think. My favourite breakfast. You're probably all going to laugh at this, but I really enjoy them. Is this? Now, this is the hunger breaks for Monty. Now, if you if you know, you know. If you've had these, these are amazing. I can't get enough of these. I always get one when I come camping. Good munch, good munch. Right. Let's have something to eat gonna pack up I'm gonna actually just take a wander down this route here because I think that's where I lost my sunglasses so I'm gonna see if I can be um, be clever enough to try and find them again I doubt it but hey, it's worth a try isn't it at least I can get a little bit more water down there ready for the walk back to the car so Right, dude, you're not going to believe this. I've literally just looked at all the videos that I'd done to try and retrace my steps because well, I knew I'd gone down to the water but I couldn't remember the track I took because it's not where I've been before. So I looked back on the videos to try and pinpoint where I had been. I followed that route. And look at this. There they are. <laughs> Unreal, unbelievable. I'm well happy now. Found my sunglasses again. <laughs> thought, thought they were gone forever. Oh, right, well, now that I've found those, get back down to the water. They're going in the bag this time. I don't lose them again. So I really ain't coming back for them otherwise. Right. Oh. oh. Happy ending. Well, that's it. Come to the end of my little wild camp adventure. And obviously, as you've seen, publicly announced another thing about my Aspergers. So, what does that mean for me going forward? It doesn't mean anything, really. I still am who I am. I still carry on being who I am. If anything, it just means I'm more comfortable with who I am and it allows me to explain certain things to people. You know, there are quirks that I have, struggles that I have, but yeah, I feel more comfortable with who I am. It kind of leads me on to this whole you know, mental health awareness thing. As you, you've probably already gathered, it's something I'm very passionate about and I think more and more people do need to start 
talking about their mental health and being a bit more conscious about their mental health but you know if you can do this get outside a bit more a lot of people say it's escaping reality you're not if anything you're immersing yourself back into reality well you're doing your, your normal mundane nine to five or whatever you're surrounding yourself by media and advertising and everyone else what they're saying and doing the real reality is this out here with nature it gives you an opportunity to really understand who you are and what's really going on in the world so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna end it there and it's a good point to end it here and uh i know a lot of you had reached out on on um, social media on youtube and facebook and whatnot saying that you're suffering yourselves i mean feel free to give me a message i mean i'm not medically qualified obviously but i'm always here to to listen and to to answer in the way that i try and do with my struggles so yeah feel free to message i'm, I'm always open to listen but the reason i'm going to end this video here is one because you've seen all this before but two I am literally going to end it where the first video started, right here. With friends in the way, that's where I'm ending it. Enjoy guys, until next time.